Hello and welcome to this uh, Warhammer 40k Kill Team Arena Battle Report. Man, those names are starting to get <laughs> long. <laughs> so today we're gonna play our first, at least our first couple of um, uh, arena games. And we're gonna start off at this on this board, which is the Catacombs Map B. Um, normally you randomly determine what you're gonna play with the Ultima missions. But we just picked this one because of the deployment zones being uh, nicely far away from each other to just get the feel of this game a bit. For the both of us this is going to be the first game. We'll be playing Death Watch versus Necrons in this game. We need to roll an env environmental uh, thingy. Right. But we'll do that in a bit. <coughs> um, the game lasts four turns. Quite simple. There's no random game length in Arena. Um, there's three objectives. And you score points every turn. No, no, it was li lying okay. Was it? it should be. Oh, yeah, no, I'm looking at it. It needs to be exactly symmetrical. Yeah, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. So it's you score um, victory points. Um, if you have an objective, you score a victory point. If you have two or more objectives, you score a victory point. And if you have more objectives than your opponent, you score a victory point. Then there's additional objectives. Um, in a, in a bit, we'll, we'll do that off camera. We are going to roll off. One of us gets to um, draw six cards from his deck. Um, selects um, the other player picks the same six cards from his deck, and then both players get to determine three um, objectives that they are going to uh, try and uh, get during the game. Um, they are secret from the other player. So um, I'll show you mine and then I'll hand over the camera to Igor and Igor can show you his so we don't know each other's objectives. So that um, basically is what this game is all about. So we're first now going to determine the env environmental rules and then we'll be back with the teams and I'll explain the environmental effect. So for the environmental rules we rolled a 3 which uh, is shrouding haste that means um, whenever a model makes an advance or a charge move, uh, roll a d6. On a roll of a 6, that model is minus 1 to hit for the remainder of the turn. Um, that means for its own attacks, not to uh, when you're attacking that model. So, on to the teams and the objectives. So, first off, the Necron team. Um, the Immortal, with the Tesla Carbine, is going to be the leader. And the warrior right next to him with the uh, lens on his head is going to be the comm specialist. Then we have two flayed ones. Um, this one is going to be the zealot and the other one the combat specialist. Then we have our regular warrior, another flayed one and two uh, death marks. On to the death watch team. Oh. So is the death watch Igor? Yep. What did you bring? I brought a watch, so watch sergeant with a combi plasma and a Xenu face blade. Yeah, he's the leader. He's the leader, yes. Then there's the uh, veteran gunner, uh, who is the heavy specialist with an infernus heavy bolter. Yes. The uh, combat specialist, a veteran with a heavy thunder hammer. Yes. Then the uh, black shield with a power maul and a storm shield, who is the zealot. Yes. And then there's a red shirt. Veteran Deathwatch shot. Who has a Deathwatch shotgun? Oh, and a power sword. But uh, you can't really see. Yeah. Okay. He's, he he, he, he has a power sword. He has a power sword. Yeah. So you're off to bring the two guys that normally lie face down turn one. Uh, these guys. But yeah, those those two those two. But I assume it's not going to happen in the, on this uh, this type of board. I don't know. Uh, we, we, we <laughs> there could be a surprise. I don't know. No, it's not going to happen. Um. I hope so. We're gonna show what objectives we both uh, picked for um, for ourselves. Yes. So I'm gonna start with the extra Necron objectives, and I took um, took these. Oh, that's one. I nearly dropped the rest on the floor. Mm -hmm. And this one. Mm 
It took a bit of time, but um, so I read them. So I hope you read them as well that in, that, in that time. So I'm gonna hand over the camera to Igor and he can show his. Yay. Okie dokie, objective time. Let's see, this one. I actually picked this one just because I had to pick one. The other ones weren't, uh, I, I don't know. I was like, yeah, yeah, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. This one, and, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> However, that one, I think this is actually, I think this is the only doable one that I actually have. Like, it's, uh, <laughs> well, we'll see, but you know. So we have deployed, and the Necrons are in this little square, and the Dead Watch are in that little square. There is, um, for the ultra close confined rules, there's a special um, um, strategy which says that from one command point, when you get charged, you can overwatch at any point in the line of the charging model. So for example, if a model were charged from this position to this position, he would be out of line of sight here, but the moment he gets here, this model gets to overwatch for one command point. Play that stratagem, and the charging model doesn't make its charge roll. Um, then there's no Overwatch at all. So um, that's for that. So now um, let's uh, let's roll off to see who gets to go first. Yes. I have a five, and Igor has an eight. Yes. So Igor, with his loaded dice, gets to gets to say who starts this game. I can start. Yeah. So we'll be back, um, I think, after. Yeah, we'll be back after movement. Yeah. All normal kill team rules um, apply for. Um, with the addition of the ultra close confined rules. So, end of movement. Um, this warrior opened the door so that the flate pond could move through. Um, these guys, they just all. Um, this is the comp specialist. They moved a bit in position. He readied. Which, in the end, appeared to be a good thing, because he can just barely see and reach him. Uh, he moved here to open the door. This plate one moved through, and this dead mark advanced to this position. And I'm saying, he can see them can't shoot over them. there, but he can't shoot, shoot because them. he advanced. <laughs> so. Um, the black shield advanced up, yep. um, both, oh no, and the dude with the thunder yep. hammer as well. Um, all three of them do not suffer the minus one penalty for um, um, for uh, to hit, but um, well, they're not going to do a lot because they advanced. And the other dead watch all moved up, the two dudes standing at the doors clearly opened the door for the other guys. And uh, that mister, he moved into the corridor. Yep. So, um, on to shooting. He ready, so he should go first. He already measured, and he can see him. So I'll start shooting at him. Um, two shots, hitting on threes, but it's clearly over half range and obscure. So hitting on fives. Oh wait, there's the comp specialist, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Should have announced that earlier. Um, that finish of him. <laughs> then he. Uh, same thing, over half range obscured. Now the comp specialist will tell him that uh, plus one. So he'll be hitting on a four, one shot. So, hmm. how well they did last time, now the dice suck. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you gonna shoot anything? Uh, I can't shoot anything, I think. Uh, no, I don't, well, think he uh, can, I don't think he can see him. Well, if he can see him, he can see him, right? No, yes, oh yes, of course, he can see him. So you can shoot at the death mark. I can. Good. It's over half range and obscured. Yep. So and he's the heavy right, yeah. Yep. So he um, just a minus two. Three shots, five to hit. Five to hit, yeah. Um, yeah. I think I use the uh, four one command point. The extra shot thing. Extra bullets. So yeah. Four bullets. Because he's the heavy. So hitting on fives, four shots. Yep. Wow. Not one hit. Jesus. The other one's a miss as well. Yeah. And that's. I think turn one already. This is turn one, yeah. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's um, see uh, if 
victory points. Yeah. Well, we both need to get one yep. because you have that objective. Correct. I have that objective. And I have the one card. Scout the field. Yeah. Which says that at the end of the battle round, I score a victory point if I have three, uh, if I am to uh, three battlefield edges, which are not my deployment zone. Uh, unless uh, your deployment zone is an entire edge, then you can claim it. But I have that one, so that one opens now. Mm -hmm. And I get one point for that one. Yep. So it's two to one in points, right? Yep. Do you have a secret one as well, which I you managed to... Do not. You do not. So, it's two to one in points then. Okay. So, one. So, we're gonna roll off for turn two. Let's see who uh, has initiative. You have 10. Yeah, I do. Yeah, so you got to go first. We did that wrong in the first turn. Do, do we? You picked. You shouldn't be picking. You have initiative. Uh, no, no, I thought the one... First turn one, you get to pick. I think so. Oh, well, doesn't yes. matter. Um, we're on our way anyway. Yeah. So, um, Igor gets to uh, to go first. Turn I don't two. want to go first. Mm. So, end of movement turn two. Um, took a bit of time to figure it all out, but that's okay. The black shield opened the door. I think he didn't move further, right? He can't. I, I think that ends his movement. Oh yeah, no, if, in the, if you do it at the beginning of your movement phase, that's your movement, you need to remain stationary. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, uh, you can do it at the end of your movement. Yeah. yeah. That guy advanced. Uh, no penalties for him. Nope. He moved up. Yep. Why didn't you advance him then? And then I won't be... Oh yeah, of course. The, the objective. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. He back there advanced. Sure did. And that Mr. There moved up. Yep. So then we go to the Necron side of the board. The immortal advanced up. Um, he rolled a six out of you, so he came pretty far. The flayed one moved up and opened the door. In the corridor, where I never should have moved into. But <laughs> let's just do it and find it out. The dead mark now moved up, uh, advanced towards the door. And the comp specialist is right behind him, still in position to claim the objective. This warrior, he readied. This flayed one, it's the one that opened this door the previous turn. He advanced, but he got lucky, and he has a minus one to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Not that this it's of any use at this point. The dead mark moved from that position to that position, just to be, so I'm able to uh, keep claiming scout the field. And that flayed one, flayed one advanced up to there. Um, that brings us to the shooting phase. Um, this warrior readied, so he gets to shoot first. He's gonna shoot at you, dude, with the shotgun back there. Oh no. Over half range, obscured. So hitting on a 3, 4, 5 up. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's strength 4, toughness 4. Nope. That's a 4, so that's a wound. Yeah. Uh, with a minus 1, usually with a 4 arm save. Hey. Which you make. Um, you have the initiative. Do you? Are you going to shoot with anything? I think uh, the only thing one I can shoot with is this one with the shotgun. Is it an assault weapon? Yes. Yes. It's range sixteen, so I can shoot here. So that's hitting on sixes. Here. Obscured, moved. Mm. He's well, obscured well, if, as if well. I, if, if I. Yeah, we can pick one, but okay. both are obscured. That's fine. You moved and over have range of hitting on sixes. Yep. I'm going to shoot this one then. You're going to shoot at the Immortal? Yes. Yes. Uh, let's see. So the shotgun is going to fire at the Immortal with the clip clear around. Yes. Um, which makes him re-roll filled boot rolls. Yes. Uh, over half range, moved and uh, yeah, well advanced and obscured. So hitting on sixes, two yep. shots. Yep. No. No. Nope. Five and three. Yup. You're not going to re-roll anything. Mm. So that moves us on to the Immortal, who's going to return him the favor. Shoot at him, same thing, two shots, because of the Tesla Carbine. Yep. Uh, hitting on sixes. I have one. I have one six, but it counts as three hits. Strength five, so wounding on three. Uh, oh shit. That's all of them, so you get three, three up arm saves now then. Three ups? Yeah, you have your regular arm save. Wow. To fill two of them. Good. That means I get to do a damage roll. That's a flesh wound. Oh, um, wait, 
Wait. I'm going to command point reroll this one. Into a six. Now he's taken out. So, um, only one guy left to shoot. That's this guy. And he's going to shoot at him. He's over half range and obscured. So, he'll be hitting on a five. Which he doesn't. So, um, that's end of turn two already, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, again, points. Um, you get one for yeah, that objective. Yeah, yeah, I get one. Nobody has more. Nope. And I still have that objective. And I still am at all three the walls. So, um, I gain an additional two and you an additional one, making it four to two. Alright. Let's uh, instantly do the roll off for turn yep. three. A one. Uh, <laughs> this is really, this, this dice is so bad. <laughs> so, um, that guy with the thunder hammer is going to charge him. Yeah. Uh, he needs Igor needs a six. A six. Eight. You have an eight. There you go. Let's see what the environmental thingy does. Two. A two. So no modifier. How many attacks does that dude have? Uh, he's is out, so he has uh, three. Three. Yes. And he's hitting all fours. There's a minus one due to the thunder uh, hammer. Yes. Yeah, no, yeah, I'll, I'll just, yeah, come on, come on over, yeah, yeah. come on over. Come on over here. No, I, I was thinking of retreating, but I'm gonna let this happen. <laughs> so, um, Necron movement. Yeah. So, Necron movement, um, this dude, he had to move there, because I had nobody left close enough to the objective. He moved up and opened the door, um, those two guys, they moves into position to be able to shoot at him. This flayed one advanced, but clearly due to the card I want to keep him close to the wall. He readied. And then we have this flayed one who's going to attempt to charge that guy as well. Um, he needs a six. Oh. He has eight. Let's see the environmental crap. A five. So nothing happens. No minus ones. So, he's in as well. Let's move that. And onto the shooting phase then. Hmm. That guy's gonna start shooting. And he's gonna fire at this guy. Yeah. He's over half range and obscured with a plasma gun. So hitting on fives, one shot. He hits, strength seven, toughness four, so winning on threes. Yeah. He does. He has a minus three, right? Yes. So that leaves him with a six up armor save. No. Damage roll. Die. That's a four. That's a, he's taken out. Bye bye, Dad. Yes. Yeah, I did a thing. <laughs> Igor has a. I did a thing. I killed the guy. So. Arena objective. Yes. Bounty hunters goes in effect. When an enemy model has taken up action, place a kill team token in contact with its base before removing the model from the battlefield. Score one victory point if a model from your kill team ends its move in contact with any of these markers, and then remove one of those markers the model is in contact with. So I actually have to footslug all over there to claim the fucking kill. Yeah, but you only have one turn left, so we. Yeah, that's you, not gonna you're happen. Never, you're never gonna make it. But it's, so, on the, it's on the board. Yes, it's on the board now. Um, on to other shooting. Oh yeah. The com specialist here yep. will tell the immortal plus one to hit. He's going to shoot at him. Uh -huh. He's within half range, but obscured. Uh -huh. So that means his two shots are at minus and plus one. Yep. Um, leaving him with three ups to hit. Yep. And sixes are two hits. <laughs> yes, one hit, strength five, toughness four. That's nothing. Yeah. You try it. Then the death mark standing right next to him. Can and the same thing, but he has two shots. Yes, he can see him as well. No, no, him. I mean, well, uh, can I can I shoot at him? Like, you know. He, 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 oh, he, yes, of he course. You can, yeah. Uh, no, I think you can see him. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think you can. So that is oh. within half range. Three shots. Alright, I'll do the extra yeah, shot. Yeah, extra shot, yeah. So, four. 
for your command points. Yes. Um, obscured. Obscured, yeah. So and you don't take the penalty for moving since you're the heavy heavy. Yes. So hitting on force, four shots. On the on the immortal. Yes. Yeah. One, two. Three hits. Three hits. Uh, swing five, toughness four. So putting on threes. All of them. Minus one, right? Sure. Yes, I have a bolt. I keep kidding. Yeah, yeah, minus one. So I have four up arms. I failed two of them, so you get to do one damage roll. That's a flash wound. Reroll, reroll that one. They're gonna reroll that one. I'm gonna repay the favor and roll the one again. Oh, okay. uh, that's a that's the reanimation that protocol. That doesn't fucking matter. So does, he's actually better off now yeah. because he now has no flash wound. <laughs> so uh, um, then we go to the to the no necrons because mm -hmm. all of them have it. Then we go to that guy there, yeah. the the death mark. Mm -hmm. He is gonna also fire at him. Yep. Uh, two shots because we didn't have range, but obscure it's hitting of force. Yep. One hit. Mm -hmm. Straight four toughness, four wounding on force. That's a six. That's You get an armor save. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it has any mines, but you also get a mortal wound. Uh, okay. Because the six for the weapon does oh. a, an additional mortal wound. So you're just taking a save okay, first. Okay, you, have, okay. you have a three up in vulnerable save anyway. Yes. You make that one. The mortal wound. He's dead. No, he was obscured. Yeah, yeah, okay. so, yeah, so I'm gonna command point reroll that one. Nice. Now he's dead. Now he's dead. Good. Because I definitely don't want you to have that objective. No, no, no. <laughs> the only way I can get. So, um, that was the shooting phase. Onto the combat phase. And before we start, I'm gonna play decisive strike. I'm gonna do this one. And I wanna play it on my combat specialist. You wanna do that as well? Yep. So we're gonna roll off for that one. We're both gonna play two command points. I assume you're playing it on your Thunder Hammer dude, right? Because he's the only one in combat. No, my leader is fucking... Uh, okay, uh, Igor's playing it on... <laughs> but we're gonna roll off for the decisive strike. We do this with a d10 like usual. Where's the d10? Fuck. Really? Now you roll a one. Yeah. Watch me roll a nine. nine. There you go. So I get to go first. So I'll get my... Uh, my dice. Um, it's the combat specialist, so now he has four attacks. I need to check. So indeed, four attacks, I need to check. Well, it has been a while since I played with uh, with these guys. Uh, four attacks, hitting on threes. <laughs> one hit. I'm not even gonna bother with rolling that. Uh, wounding on fours, but I do get to reroll this. On fours. One, you have a three up armor save. Get in the thing! There we go. That's I failed it. Good. One fail it. I'm gonna command point reroll this yeah, one. Of course you are. Man, he's dead. Oh wow. Oh, he's flesh wound. Wow. That's new. That's new, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm down to one command point. Yeah. Eagle made a little mistake because he's not the Zealot, he's the combat specialist. But um, it doesn't matter. You're winning on twos anyway. Strength yeah. eight wounds him on twos as well. Um, so he has three attacks. Yes. He'll be hitting on force. Who are you going to attack? Yeah, the guy that's, that, that can still fight. The guy that can still fight. So on the charged yes. plate one. Hitting on force. Yes. Because of transhuman shenanigans. Well, no, because of the big thunder. Yeah, yeah, but because of the shenanigans, no, the, yeah, more, yeah. The, uh, the, the flesh wound doesn't do shit. Wow. Really? <sighs> It's already not really going your way. No, it went downhill like from the, from the second turn, I think. Um, yeah, so well, when my, my, my other idiot gets to strike, yep. the charged one. Mm -hmm. um, three attacks, yep. hitting on threes. Look at him, he does a better job so far. Mm -hmm. We'll be wounding on fours, strength four, toughness four, but he gets to reward One. one. Two. So you get two three of armor saves. You make one and you fill one. Uh, now your flesh wound does come into effect, right? I think so. yes, yes, it does, because it's only for hit rolls. Yes. Uh, so that's a plus one, then he should be taken out. Yeah. So with the three inch consolidation move that uh, Flate One got, uh, he now is actually in range which is 
I really seriously feel bad now, you know that? Yeah, I, I Because guess. you were in the position you had more objectives than yeah. I had, and now Q2 just... Like, uh, like I said, like the, 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 that guy was my only claim into that game, and when he died, that's just fucking game over. The Thunder Rammer? Yeah. No, no, no. The, the Black Shield. The Black Shield. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was stupid with leaving him here. So you could shoot him. Yeah, but... I should have just moved him a bit and then you wouldn't be able to shoot him, but um, yeah, it's kind of crap. Um, let's calculate points because I got a card as well. Yeah, so I got cut apart. Um, at the end of the fight phase, score one victory point if one or more models from your kill team made an attack that took an enemy model out of action in that phase. Which I did. Um, and I have one, two, two, and more objectives than you did. Yep. So I gained four additional points. And you won for having one. Yep. So end of turn three. Um, the Necrons are five points ahead right now. Um, you know what we do? We'll do an uh, initiative roll. Uh -huh. Because if I win, yes. uh, the initiative roll. Roll. I have nine. I have seven. seven. So the only thing I actually need to do is move him here, close the door. Done. And if Igor would have had trouble to get a draw because he would have needed to get all three cards and the two objective objectives this turn to be able to draw actually because I still have that objective. I would always gain one point and then Igor gained six if he got all three cards done as well. Which I don't know if he can because I don't know what cards he has, but but now I made it impossible for him to get to the objective. Yep. Just by getting the initiative. So that means now I always will get an additional three points. And if I move this dude like here, I'll get an extra point for Scout the Field. Yep. And my other card was Stake Archer Leader, but um Yeah, now I I had attrition, so um if, if more enemy models than friendly models would be taken out of action, the complete opposite happened. Yeah. And didn't in a turn, or uh, yeah, in a turn. Yeah. So well, I, I deliberately didn't take that one because I was taking the, the the Necrons, and I know they have a hard time killing, especially three of armor safe dudes. Yeah, I, I I thought, well, you know, I've got, I've got more numbers against me. I'd uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'd, well, I'd give it a shot. Oh wait, yes. sorry, uh, that's the, it's in the ranks. Attrition is at the end of the battlefield score one victory point if more enemy models than friendly models would take another action. Yeah. But we uh, we had either a trade off or more by my use. So, yeah, we're gonna um, set up the, the the stuff for the the post game yep. analysis, and we'll talk a bit about our findings about this game as well. Yes. So, um, post game discussion, Igor. Yes. What's your opinion on this game? It sucks, burn it down. Why? Throw it away, uh, because I lost. Fuck it. Because you lost. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, you're, no. you're just salty. I'm very salty. <laughs> no, like, um, well, well, I'm gonna be honest, it didn't go your way. Oh. I was the lucky one. <laughs> yeah, that was I, I normally, normally when, when we play Kill Team, I constantly have the idea that, oh, I want the initiative. And for some reason, I constantly now have the idea, I don't want the initiative. Me neither. Except for, Turn four, yeah, turn but four. I wanted to close the freaking door right there. Yeah, exactly. And then that's the moment, and because I only won two roll-offs, yep. the one for the decisive strike, yeah, which didn't make any difference in the end, nope. and the one for who got got to start turn four. Yes. Yes, and so that I could close the door and with that just end the game basically. Yeah. Um, yeah, luck, luck was on my side. Yeah, I'm absolutely not gonna. Yeah. Well, gonna like, uh, like we said, like the um, the re-rolling, the reload, the, the nothing re into one, one. Uh, one into a six. The, yeah. um, uh, the you the other way around. Yeah, me, me me throwing a six on the damage table, like healing him with bullets, yeah. and uh, there was it was another roll, which was like uh, well, you know, like 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 a cheeky roll. But um, well, no, like like I said, the. Um, uh, with this setup, the elite armies have uh, have the disadvantage because you can't just keep a throwaway character on uh, on an objective. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, well, and you had the like like well, well we we both had the option of, of using the um, uh, what was it? 
uh, scout the field where, yeah. you, where you had three dudes. I I I can't keep three dudes uh, on three separate board edges. That's just like uh, I can, but it's I don't know. It it it, it just feels like it's um, uh, you 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 lose it. There's a lot of mobility. Let's just put it that way. Like, the, like, like, like a lot of um, flexibility goes out the window. You really have to. What I was feeling, like, like, like I felt like I had to play the objectives, like the middle one, side one, and then basically brace for impact, and then hopefully get more kills than you. Yeah, the thing really was getting that second objective. That that was the because if you if you in this specific uh, mission, obviously. If you had two objectives, you scored three points a turn. Yeah, that's guaranteed. A lot. That's a lot of points. Versus uh, one and cards. Yep. But then you have your your own cards as well. And at a certain point, well, you end with two models. I would I end with seven models. So mm -hmm. there's a pretty big advantage um, there um, once you get the upper hand model wise. Yeah. And like I said, I didn't get unlucky with my rerolls. And uh, very good. Um, Like I said before, battles, certain weapons are absolutely garbage that usually are super good. Yeah. Like, you know, I mentioned the trench Renic Arcus for the Adeptus Mechanicus. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's an insane weapon. weapon in normal games. Normal, normally, he is like, when I field him, he's like a guaranteed kill turn one yeah. on, the, on the opponent. Then he gets most likely killed himself. But um, in this game, he probably is not e even ever going to get a shot off. No. Because he can't move and then fire. No. The, the only reason I see you use him is if you put him right there. It's, it's out of the camera range. Yeah, you know, I'll, okay, I can turn it kind of like this. Like okay. if you put him right here, so he yeah. can like deny... Yeah, draw this. a straight line of sight to the complete exactly. other... Yeah, then you won't be that eager to go and stand there. Exactly, and that's, that's the only reason you would have him. Just to keep him there, ready, and just, you know, basically... If, if I want to move anyone... Uh, through this board edge, it would have to be like in 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 steps, in steps of yeah. like behind cover constantly. Yeah, but I also know it because I I, um, I moved the one flame point constantly across the wall, and well, he never got really far. Yeah. So it's only four turns, so it's uh, yeah. You have to really keep in mind this only lasts four turns. You're never going to get a fifth and a sixth turn, and you have to go around everything. Yeah, all the walls. Um, uh, which is which is which makes it this far more tactical than regular kill team because in regular kill team you just take some big ass weapon put it in the high ground. Yeah, exactly. You make sure it gets to shoot every turn yeah, and exactly. uh, and uh, just uh, just suppress the opponent. Yep. Um, I think it's a fun game. Yeah, it's yeah. more strategic. It's more tactical. It's it's uh, it has a bit more depth, but you have to go fast. It's fast paced. Yeah, it's fast paced. And but on the other hand, big risks can come with big punishments in this in this type of game. Yeah, definitely. Can also come with big rewards. Yeah. I think. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, you, you're not wrong. It's um, the yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I really think they have a point. It's. Uh, but I yeah no I think I. Uh, mm -hmm. Needed to get the feel of this game a bit, yeah, and therefore um, it didn't go as fluent as it might have gone if we got like a couple of games in. But we'll see. Um, gonna play another one anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with different teams, and I'll make sure I'll have fewer models than you at that time around. See for this time. Yeah, well, yeah, no, yeah, well, not not to let you win, but to see if uh, <laughs> if um, if it, because you 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 truly felt like it's a disadvantage with less models, so it's maybe a good thing that I take the the gray knights for the next uh, next game, and you take uh, or all I care, you take ninety more votes in the war. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be shit fast. Huh? Yeah. So we're gonna leave it at that. I'm uh, gonna say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed the game. I hope Igor did as well. I think he's exaggerating a bit. But, uh, a little bit. A little bit. So, I'm um, going to say thank you for watching again and hopefully see you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.